geht es heute gut. Er fährt nach wie vor erfolgreich Autorennen. Wie wird es denn im nächsten Jahr weitergehen? The car going off the road, Andrea Montemini going into the tire wall very hard and John, that was a very heavy shunt indeed. Right and a tremendous pile up at the back of the grid I was watching the front of it so concentrate on Olivier Panis and see what happened here he is now he's coming out of turn four coming out of turn four and the rear of the car just started to bounce dancing away lost the rear end got completely sideways one impact on the right wall and severe into the left wall again that's a big impact yeah Morty Irvine, den kann er nicht halten. Ah! Böser Unfall. Ganz böser Unfall. Das könnte einen Abbruch geben. Ist Muss. das Blanche? Now we'll have another look here at what's happened through the right hander and uh, is he just going to run too wide? He puts the wheel over the curb. No, his bits come off. Bit the front wing came off. The front wing came off front. as he went over the curb, 70 miles an hour, and the thing just... Now, let's take a look here. He comes out over the curb, bubbles... That front oh. wing! Now, you would not expect that. He didn't hit the curb that hard to expect, and, of course, it lifts the front end off the off the tarmac completely. It wedges underneath the chassis, and that is very worrying indeed. out of the car and has been taken by the marshal. A crash at 180 miles an hour at the world's most difficult racing circuit. Sehen Sie noch mal, da fällt einfach der Heckflügel weg. Gibt es von Vibrationen, das ist nicht so, dass es da nicht festgeschraubt war, sonst, das gibt es einfach. Materialermüdung. Das Schlimme ist, dass er es nicht merkt und jetzt praktisch ums Eck rumfährt und plötzlich bricht das leichte Heck aus, als er da bremsen will. Und dadurch natürlich kaum eine Verzögerung, weil er ist jetzt bereits auf der Wiese, das heißt, das Auto verzögert kaum mehr. Kannst du denn etwa die Geschwindigkeit einschätzen? Ja, am Anfang wird er 200 drauf gehabt haben, da wo das passiert ist. Ne? Ausgangskurve, da hat er ja schon ein paar Meter richtig beschleunigt. Ja, ja. Diese Reifenwand hier absorbiert natürlich. There we go, he's lost it early on and yeah, that's a heavy impact. And uh, worse than that, it was at 90 degrees. At 19, uh, I think that knocked him out pretty much straight away. Ricardo Zonta jäi tuonne hiekkaesteeseen ja tässä se tulee. Vaikuttaa myöskin, että siinä tapahtui jotain, jotain meni rikki. Zontalla meni takarengas. Aika yllättävää. Hands about at that point. It's 
the Toyota he connected with. He took off. Oh, yes. And, and head first into him. So nearly collected. The Toro Rosso of Scott Speed that you would have thought in any normal circumstances would have been well out of the action. And that was a huge impact. As Barrichello went into turn three, debris from his rear suspension flew off and landed right on the racing line. Massa had already made it into Q3 and was just a few seconds behind the brawn. He went hurtling into the path of the errant spring and into the tyre wall. Wat zien we hier? Insturen. Linkerbandslek, of niet? Onderstuur, 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 onderstuur. Wauw. Nou, die impact is hard. The, uh, the leading drivers had already pitted, of course. Here comes Alonso. Oh, oh. Yeah. So if it's not a car failure, well, that all looks a bit familiar to me, to be honest. Just at the bottom of your screen, Lance Stroll uh, goes uh, wide. Now, this is after turn three, and you see Grosjean, uh, one car out there, and then Grosjean to the right hand side. Just going My straight. God, it's that, the car's the broken car in half. In half. No wonder the fuel came out of it.